Welcome to FIRST Robotics Canada. Hi, I'm Navjeet Bath. Hi, I'm Jessica Kelso. And I'm Victoria. My name is Rasali and I'm on 4939. I'm on Team 2200. I'm uh, from Team 4946, the Alpha I've been on the team since we started. This is my first year doing this it. This is my fourth year in FIRST. I'm a designer on our team. I'm like the business sub team. I'm this year's captain. I'm on the design team. It started off with just a handful of seniors mainly who were really passionate about robotics. And I really had no idea the scope and magnitude and it's probably one of the toughest and most rewarding things uh, I've ever done. In a lab bench at the back of my classroom with hand tools and we borrowed some hex keys from the custodian. We found some materials at the recycling depot <laughs> and uh, from there we've grown to our third year where we have a team now of 15 students and we keep on building. It takes a lot of determination to do this because like this is like the robot it takes a long while to make and like you're just trying to balance all the schoolwork and the robot building. I think my favorite thing about FIRST is that it's challenging and fun at the same time and some people like it kind of people don't always get it at first because it's like oh you spend so much time and put in so much work into this but it's actually so fun and rewarding and it's really a great experience. We're the Saber Bites from LaSalle, Ontario just outside of Windsor. We've been a team since 2001. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough haul, but I wouldn't give up this experience for, for anything. It gives a lot of kids purpose where they wouldn't necessarily have an outlet, and it, it brings them excellence. I helped design the gear hopper and a lot of the other parts that went into our robot. And it's been very welcoming, and the community here is so friendly. I think it, it, it feeds the uh, students a sense of their own possibility. Amazing that kids this age do all this stuff because I didn't know how big it would be. The kids run the team. We uh, just advise them. It's showing the kids that there is something else out there other than an average job. We had four students apply to Mechatronics at Waterloo and all four of our students got accepted into the program. The FIRST program does help a lot of students find their passions in life and leads them to making perhaps more educated choices in what sort of post-secondary education they pursue. A hundred percent of our uh, graduates, for example, have gone on to STEM programs. It's helping them with co-op placements, it's helping them with so much. Um, before joining FRC, I was interested in being an architect or a civil engineer, but I never really thought of it as an actual profession I could do. But now that I've learned many of the skills and I'm, like, I'm more confident. I plan on going to engineering, probably system engineering. Computer engineering or computer software. I probably want to be an architect or an engineer. I want to study computer science in the future. Like I never knew before this what I wanted to do. To be honest, before joining first, I was really unsure about my career path, but now I'm pretty set on like going into a STEM field, probably engineering. The skills I learned at first robotics right out of high school set me up for my first co-op career. A lot of the software experience and stuff I got from the team I could use in school and vice versa. It's about building a culture. It's about teaching all the skills that you need to carry on in life. You can do that through this program. That makes you first. The best part are, is the relationships that I've started to build with some of these kids. And that wouldn't have happened without first. It's how to work as a team. Whether you win or lose, it's just really fun to do something great like build this robot. The most amazing experience of my life so far. Fun, energetic, a learning process. And this is like the big culminating activity. Uh, if you're going to do something, do it big.